It's been two days of anguish for the people of Moore, Oklahoma. You know, we've lived here our whole life. My daughters, they got friends. They probably have 12 or 15 friends that lost their entire home. Many neighborhoods have been erased by the monster EF5 tornado, packing winds over 200 miles per hour, traveling nearly 17 miles, and taking the lives of 24 people. Standing on what was once his home, Rick Brown and his son Chad returned to a splintered and chaotic pile of memories where the smallest of things are reason to celebrate. I was real short on clothes until we found this closet still standing. <laughs> Yay! FEMA's already starting to help people and they're going to pick up stuff that the insurance doesn't pick up. And and we're just going to be all right. Oh, yeah, that's the, that's the receipt. That For I'm Rick, on. this is the second time he has lost his home to an yeah, EF5 no, tornado. This time, he has insurance. But none of that seems to matter for him. His friend and neighbor down the street lost her life on Monday. She was right in the tornado. At the Moore Medical Center, vehicles are stacked up like books. Windows blown out and twisted metal nearly everywhere. And I, I didn't think I was going to die, and I probably should have. A physical therapist, Sarah Merchant, led her patients into the center's cafeteria, where they laid on the floor under tables, interlocking arms, hands over their heads. There was so much pressure, I felt like that my body was being pushed down, like somebody was laying on me. And so my ears popped to the point there was so much pressure, I don't feel like I could hear. Sarah's husband and baby survived while hunkering down in a storm shelter. I'm just grateful to be alive and proud to be a part of this area. Officials say that an estimated 12 to 13,000 homes were damaged or destroyed by the violent twister. President Barack Obama is expected on the ground and more on Sunday. Robert Ray, Associated Press, Moore, Oklahoma.